Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Today is February 1, 2023. On January 9, 2008, the government of the day, they officially declared February as Reggae Month. This is to highlight and celebrate the significant impact of reggae on the country's social, cultural and economic development. In addition to that, the birthdays of two of reggae music's late icons are commemorated during the month of February. Today, February 1 is the Crown Prince of Reggae, Dennis Emmanuel Brown's birthday. He was born in the year 1957 and on February 6, 1945, the King of Reggae, Robert Nesta Marley, popularly known as Bob Marley, he was born. During the month of February, a number of activities are held all over the world. Reggae music is the heartbeat of Jamaica. Now, on to the news. That guy on your screen, his name is Kemar Deans. On July 26, this year, Kemar, he will be celebrating his 26th birthday. Kemar is from Bellevue Heights in Spanish Town in the parish of St. Catherine. If you should go and look on Facebook, you're going to see that Kemar, he has a whole lot of Facebook pages. Kemar, he normally posts on his pages that he's seeking employment. We are learning that recently, Kemar got a job at Paradise Narwood in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. He was working at a restaurant. He did delivery and other jobs at the restaurant. The persons who owned the building, they had rented out the downstairs to the operators of the restaurant. The restaurant operators, they employed Kemar. Are you following me? Now, on the upstairs of the building, the owners, they stored a lot of music equipment plus other stuffs. Well, Kemar, somehow he gained entry to the upstairs of the building and he stole a whole lot of items from the upstairs. Now, if you look on your screen, there are some of the items that Kemar stole from the building. Not only that, <laughs> not only that, Kemar, he has posted all those items for sale on about 15 different Facebook pages. Kemar. You are wanted by the Montego Bay police and members of the public. If you buy any of these items from Kemar, it is possible that you might be facing criminal charges. There is a charge known as receiving stolen property. I am also told that the owners of the equipment, they are offering a $60,000 reward that may lead to the arrest of Kemar. If you know where Kemar is hiding, give the information. There is a reward to be collected. And prospective employers, save the photo. That guy, that guy, you see him look innocent? Not an easy guy. He did it already. And if you employ him, he might go come at your place, come do it again. <laughs> you best believe. And talking about robbery, this next incident, it took place last night. Tuesday, January 31, 2023, about 8.30. It took place at the Ashton Crossroad in the Betteltown Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, this is what we are learning. A man, he is 33 years old and he's a truck driver. He was out on the job with a 28-year-old delivery man. They were in a truck. Both of them, they are employed to a well-known hardware in Western Jamaica. Both men, they were out on the job on behalf of this hardware. It is said that the two men, they had gone out and they had delivered mesh that is used to make fishnets and they also collected cash from customers on behalf of this company. We are learning that the men, they collected over 2.3 million Jamaican dollars in cash on behalf of this business place. Now, here are the allegations. Last night, about 8.30, both men, they were in the truck and they were driving towards Betteltown direction. On reaching the Ashton Crossroad, the driver of the truck, he stopped the truck because 
he wanted to Lego some water. Do you know what Lego some water mean? <laughs> you don't? Well, the driver, he stopped the truck because he wanted to urinate. He stopped and he came out of the truck. He was letting go some water when two motorcycles rode up with four hoodlums aboard. We are told that the Pelians, they came off the bikes, pulled guns and juke down the driver and his co-worker. They commanded both of them to lie face down. The allegations are that the hoodlums, they searched both men and took away their cell phones and their wallets containing cash and their IDs. They also went into the truck and stole a bag containing the cash amounting to over 2.3 million Jamaican dollars and some other items. The hoodlums, they then jumped back onto the bikes and they made good their escape. Luckily, the men were not harmed. <laughs> ah boy. This next incident, it took place at Browns Lane in the Granville Police area in the parish of St. James. It took place yesterday afternoon. Tuesday, January 31, 2023, about some minutes after 2 o'clock. Our information is that the police, acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid at an abandoned building and bingo. During the search, one black Ruger 9mm pistol with the serial number intact affixed with a magazine containing five rounds of 9mm cartridges were found. A box containing an additional 17 9mm rounds were also found. They were found under the cellar of the house wrapped in a grey t-shirt and tied up in a UPS bag. No one was arrested in connection with this find but Congratulations to the St. James Police for making this find. Intelligencers, enough respect. Now, in this next incident, on Monday, I got that WhatsApp message. It is on your screen. It says, Hello, Sir Papai. Greetings. I am a family member of PNL. I have a concern that affects the people who travel on the section of the road between Great River and Round Hill, which we refer to as Point Hill. Every time the rain drizzle, an accident happen. I travel daily on that road as I live in Hopewell and work in that direction. It is very scary for me now. When it rains, I sit out and wait until the road dries up or I drive with fear. Please load it out so that the relevant authorities can do something. Today is January 30 and an accident happened a few hours ago and we can go on and on. Do they want to see more crosses put there to mark the amount of lives lost? So the accident that the PNL family member is talking about. It took place on the early morning of Monday, January 30, 2023, about 6.30. It took place at the same section referred to as Point Hill, Roundhill Main Road in the parish of Anova. Now, here is how this accident took place. That man on your screen, his name is Christoph Belight, but he's popularly known as Electro. He's called Electro because he's an electrician by trade. He is 28 years old and we are told that he's from Linstead in the parish of St. Catherine. Electro, he was driving a grey 2004 Toyota ISC motor car. We are told that other passengers were in the car. He was travelling from the direction of Montego Bay towards Hopewell. A silver Toyota RAV4 being driven by a 45-year-old man from the Dominican Republic was travelling in the opposite direction and reaching a certain section along the road. Electro, he was in the process of negotiating a left-hand corner, but we are told that he failed to keep to his left. As a result, the car that he was driving, it ventured into the right lane. This resulted in a head-on collision with the RAV4. Now, if you look on your screen, that is a photograph of the Toyota IAC motor car that Electra was driving. On your screen now is a photo of the Toyota RAV4 that the man from the Dominican Republic was driving. We are told that the occupants of the Toyota IAC motor car, 
they were all seriously injured. They were rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where they were all admitted in serious condition. But Electro, he died whilst undergoing treatment. The driver of the RAV4, he was shaken up a bit, but he was not injured. Sad indeed. Now, since I have been carrying news on YouTube, I have carried a lot of fatal accidents that took place on that section of the road. Drivers, the onus is on you. Be ye careful. And the authorities, based on what this person is saying, whenever there is a slight drizzle, it is chaos on the road. Please, sort it out. In this next story, now, did you know that all it takes is one word to change the complexion of an argument? Well, yesterday. Yesterday, I used the word charge instead of convict. I told you that it was my view that 13-year-old Nolisha, she would not be charged for the death of her 19-year-old brother. I should have said, in my view, she would not be convicted because Nolisha, she was charged for the offense of murder from yesterday. I am sure she will be given a legal aid lawyer and in the near future, she will be exonerated. I don't even know, trust me. I can't even imagine how this young girl is going to live with herself. Trust me upon that one day. In this next story, this one took place last night. Tuesday, January 31, 2023, about some minutes to 7 o'clock. It took place in the vicinity of the eye shop, wholesale and retail store on St. James Street in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. What we are learning is that that man on your screen and that's the best photo we could get of him. His name is Jerome Maynard but he's popularly known as Johnny. Johnny is 38 years old and he was said to be a vendor. He lived at Greenwood in the parish of St. James. It is said that Johnny, he was sitting on two crates on the side of the road when a hoodlum stepped up to him. The hoodlum brandished a gun and opened gunfire, hitting Johnny in his head and his upper body. Now, PNL Patreon family, I'm gonna be dropping the video with Johnny over on Patreon. It is too grimy for YouTube. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape on foot in the area. From all indication, Johnny, he died on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, Hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, the Hanover police, they are carrying out investigation to find out who is it that killed that young lady on your screen. Her name is Shanda Rule. On May 10 this year, Shanda, she would be celebrating her 24th birthday. She is originally from Cold Spring in the parish of Hanover, but she was living at a house at Fort Charlotte Drive, right beside the West Palm, or is it the Farmer West Palm Hotel in Lucy. Shanda, she was a security guard and she was employed to a security company based in the parish of Hanover. She was based at Ocean Point. Now, for those who know that area, you know that housing scheme that is near to where the Grand Palladium Hotel is in Anova? That's where she was based. That's called Ocean Point. So, this is what we are learning. The house where Shanda and her two-year-old daughter is living, at least five other persons are living in this two-bedroom house. It is said that an elderly man and a lady, they are living in the back room of the said house. You want to hear something else? Shanda. And this elderly man and the lady, it is said that they are in a dispute and they malice each other. Are you following me? And for those who want to say, I'm trying to sway people's opinion that are for your business. Some people, them just too wicked. 
Now, this is what we are learning. Last night, Tuesday, January 31, 2023, about 10 o'clock, Shanda was at home. It is said that she was in her room with someone else when a hoodlum entered the room armed with a machete. The hoodlum, he started chopping Shanda in the presence of her two-year-old daughter and the other person who was in the room with her. Shanda, she managed to run out of the house, but the hoodlum, he chased and caught up with her. We are told that the hoodlum, him deal with Shanda wicked. As a matter of fact, when he was done, Shanda's fingers were taken off. Her right foot was also taken off. Her head was, why may I tell you? Now, based on the information I'm getting, you don't need any glasses to see who set this up. Sad indeed. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun. Jamaica become now the land of the 